<clears throat> what if you don't need to live in pain and suffering? What if you could give up your karma and have a life of abundance and joy? What if you could start creating magic and miracles that you never thought were possible? Get ready to listen, share, and experience the magic that is you. Now, here's the host of Creating Abundance with Ease radio show, Dr. Helen Gitlovich. Welcome. I'm Helen Gitlovich on Creating Abundance with Ease, and today our show topic is Gaslighting is not personal. Thank you for listening to this show live. If you are and if not, if you're listening to one of the podcasts around the world, also welcome. Gaslighting is not personal. Wow, people would look at me and say I'm crazy. But how many of you had someone totally gaslighting and manipulating you? Do you think it's personal? Actually, totally big fucking no. And this is about being lied to. Gaslighting term actually was created from the movie uh, 1944 with Ingrid Berman and um, what's his name? Uh, I think it was um, Jeff Boy, uh, Charles Boyer. I'm getting a little blonde moment today. Uh, but anyway, that was in 1944. When I came to the United States, I was born in Russia. And I came as a kid. Um, so when I came, gaslighting was on a regular TV. And it kind of caught my eyes. I loved Ingrid Bergman. One of my favorite movies is Casablanca, of course. And I was watching Gaslighting. Believe it or not, after that movie, I could not sleep for at least a week. To me, it was so scary. Why? Because I realized there are people in my life who were gaslighting me continuously. I don't believe at that time, well, I knew I didn't know the term because I was far away from psychology at that time. I was just starting my college. And kind of like even seeing how he twisted her mind with the lies. And that's what gaslighting is. And by the way, when I say it's not personal, it's not. Because people who gaslight, they choose you as a victim based on that you're near them and based because you're strong. I'll say it again. They do that because you're strong and can handle it. They are getting into that mode to get power over people who they gaslight. It's as simple as it gets. There is no point of them to gaslight somebody who is weak. There is no point of gaslighting somebody who is under their control. No, they want to push you down. And I got on Google and I looked up what is gaslighting. And gaslighting defined as a type of psychological abuse that leaves survivor questioning every memory they have. And it's pretty much, there is also uh, an article in January 22 on 2017, 11 warning signs of gaslighting. And the author talks a lot about how the gaslighting starts what it is, and to watch for the signs. Believe me, we all been gaslighted by somebody or even ourselves. And the gaslight starts always with a lie. The abuse that we take or somebody does it to us starts with outright lie. And we look at that person as like, you're lying. 
but they do that with such a straight face that your legs start questioning everything you believe in. Even if you have a proof of what they done, you still look at them and there is that question. Maybe you are crazy and they are right. And that's what they do continuously, making you insane or making you believe that you're insane. I remember in my, like, the classic example was my ex-husband, actually both of them, and quite a lot of other people in my life. I knew the truth, but they would tell me that I was wrong with such a straight face that I was questioning my own sanity at some point. And I'm going to use access tools to allow you to let go of some of that. A lot of times what we try to do, we try to understand why the person does what they do. do. It's not about why. Because even if we understand why, it's still not going to take away the effect that it had on us, or it still has. The idea, the only antidote to the gaslighting, guess what? <clears throat> the only way you can get on from under gaslighting or from under the gaslighter is to become more conscious to become more aware, to actually start creating your life based on you, what you desire, what you like, and not on the lies that the gaslighter does. What if you actually choose what works for you? A lot of times gaslighters are so skilled and so insidious that you don't realize the gaslighting until you're totally alone. Because their idea is to separate you from everybody that can support you, can contribute to your life. They separate you from your friends, from your family, until you are totally alone with them as a controller. It's a form of abuse that people a lot of times don't even realize they're being abused because a lot of times they kind of like being nice to you. They throw positive reinforcement, kind of like giving you compliments, taking kind of like quote-unquote taking care of you or at least you feel like you're being taken care of while completely twisting your mind, completely um, totally destroying your being. Gaslighting totally invalidates you as a person, invalidates you as being, and totally gets you out of being. Because when you're being, and I talk a lot about being, being a facilitator of being you classes, ever since I became facilitator, I realized this is the key. When you're being, nothing can invalidate you. Nothing and nobody can gaslight you. Because that's what you know. And when you're being, you just be. Everything else falls apart. Everything else starts melting, starts disappearing. And that's when nobody or anything can get power over you. Some people go into their past and 
they play a victim. Because everything we create in our lives, and I know this might be very controversial for you, I didn't create gaslighters. Well, no and yes. Part of the creation of something that doesn't work in your life is some point of view you have deep in the subconscious that attracts it. And a lot of times you would be surprised. One of the things that creates gaslighting is our unwillingness to manipulate or being gaslighted themselves. When we decide that gaslighting is wrong and awful and mean and vicious, we actually invite that in our lives. You're like, what? Yes, anything we are unwilling to be and anything we resist, it actually invites things into our lives. If we are unwilling to lie and decide lie is awful, mean, and vicious, and you cannot lie because it's immoral, immoral, or whatever that is, people start lying to you. We talk a lot about being an interesting point of view, meaning being total allowance of what is. When we resist and react or align and agree with anything, we invite that into our lives. When we kind of like say, hmm, yeah, people choose things for some reason. We don't have to know the reason. We don't have to be that person. And yet, if we resist and we say we'll never do that in order to never do that first of all we have to embody that and some lifetime or sometime in past lives or sometime in our life we've done all of those things that we resist and react It's about being present, about being vulnerable, and have no point of view about what people choose or even what we choose. And it doesn't mean that we'll go and be the evil and lying and manipulating person. No. It's about being willing doesn't mean we'll act on it. And it's time for our first break of the show. You've been listening to Creating Abundance with Ease with myself, Dr. Helen Gitlerich, on the Inspired Choices Network. And when we return, we'll talk more about gaslighting and being a victim or how to get out of it. Many of us live our lives based on karma, on the past and all the unfinished business in our lives. What would you choose if you did not have karma or if you could choose what you desired instead? By tuning into Creating Abundance with Ease radio show with Dr. Helen Gitlovich, you'll receive tools and inspiration you can use to create the abundance in your life. You are an infinite being with infinite choices. Are you ready to have ease with creating abundance? Listen for Creating Abundance with Ease radio show every Wednesday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 11 a.m. Central, 10 a.m. Mountain, and 9 a.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Are you a subject matter expert? Are you here to share your expertise with an audience waiting to hear from you in only the way you can deliver? Are you ready to have your voice amplified across the airwaves? Inspired Choices Network has a global radio platform streaming to millions of people across the world. Professionally produced and supported by an accomplished team every step of the way, you can broadcast from anywhere in the world knowing your voice matters and we ensure it is delivered with ease and efficiency. Eager to hear your message, the world awaits. Contact us today to become an Inspired Choices Network radio host. 
Email become a host at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. This is Creating Abundance with Ease Radio Show with Dr. Helen Gitlovich. To participate in the program, call in the U.S. 815-880-8255, Canada 613-800-8736, or Skype us at Inspired Choices Network. You can also make the choice to ask or comment by email by sending to helen.g at att.net. Now, back to the program. Welcome back, everyone. I'm Dr. Helen Gitlovich on Creating Abundance with Ease. And today, our show topic is Gaslighting is Not Personal. And before we went on a break, we were talking about being willing or unwilling to be or do gaslighting or manipulations or lying. As I said, a lot of people decided that it's so bad that they cut their awareness to anything that's bad. How many of you decided that anything that is not good is bad? And so you will never do that. But as I said before we went on a break, if you decide that you will never do that or never be that, it's pretty much an invitation for other people to to do that to you. It seems like the universe has a sense of humor. Whenever we kind of like say no to something, it shows in our universe as a vengeance. And I'm not kidding you. Part of it, because universe does not have an understanding of a no. Everything is what is. So there is no duality in the universe. Or if we talk about consciousness, everything is included in consciousness. Positive, negative, good, bad, right, wrong. Everything is just what is. The only evil in the universe is unconsciousness and anti-consciousness. So when we say, I don't want to do that, guess what? The universe says, oh, oh, you desire something. Let's give it to you. And it's not cognitive. It's all going on energetically. It's all going on in subconscious, unconscious parts of our brain. Sometimes it's a thought, a fleeting thought, that you see somebody being manipulated, being lied to, being gaslighted, and you're like, oh my God, how can they, how can they take it? How can they stand it? And how is that person can do that to them? And immediately the universe says, oh, you'd like to understand it? Sure. We'll give you an opportunity to do that. We'll give you an opportunity to experience that so you know how it feels. Wow. I actually just realized that. <laughs> when I was talking to you, it dawned on me because it's not just gaslighting. It's anything in our lives. Anytime when we look at somebody or something and we feel sorry for them or we like it, if we like it, that's great because maybe we can do more of that. Let's say, because we can not just concentrate on the negatives and feel sorry for them and try to <laughs> invite them that kind of like energy in our lives in a twisted way, what if we actually start inviting something that we decided is positive, but maybe something that might work in your life? Because instead of looking at somebody who's been gaslighted and say, oh my God, how can they take it? What if we look at somebody who is happy 
and have a lot of joy in our lives and and say, oh, how are they doing that? I would like to know that. I'll have more of that. But somehow we don't do that as often. And when we look at the news, what do they uh, show? All the disasters. The riots, the looting, the fires. Do they show any time when people are just simply happy and have joy in their lives? No, they'll show the lies. And how much of the news right now are gaslighting people? How much of the Internet is gaslighting people and telling the lies? A lot of them just outright lies, especially politics and what's going on with COVID. And yet, people believe that. Even that they're totally aware. I talked to a person not too long ago, probably like a couple of days ago, and she was saying, yeah, I understand it's a lie. I understand I might not need the mask when I go out. You might need mask in certain situation, but just use your awareness. And she's like, yeah, but I still am going to wear mask and uh, gloves just because they say so. And I'm like, okay. And please don't um, just use your awareness and use what the rules in your country is. I'm <clears throat> not going to tell you go against your government, but just ask questions. Use your awareness. And one of the ways to deal with gaslighting is to be an allowance of it. It's like, okay, cool. You're telling the lies. I know that's true. I know what's true for me. And not buy those lies. When you're aware and conscious, you stop buying those lies. You stop allowing people to manipulate you. But for that, you have to be willing to have no point of view about manipulation and not to judge it as wrong and awful. And be willing to manipulate when the time comes, when it's necessary. Because what is manipulation? A lot of people actually do not get what manipulation is. What if manipulation is to invite person to a, something greater, something better? What if it's not what we thought manipulation is? Because truly, can anybody manipulate you into doing something which you actually don't desire? And I'm not talking about cognitive. But deep down, you might desire something. And even for the bad thing that you decided is bad thing, a lot of times that desire stems from judgment. How often do we judge ourselves as bad? How often do we judge ourselves that we don't deserve something? Or we deserve a punishment for something? We don't even know for what. A lot of it is gaslighting from other lifetimes or even this lifetime from childhood. Because the child, when it's born, it has all the infinite possibilities. And the child is aware. The child is conscious. And then the child starts growing up and being gaslighted by the parents, saying, oh, this is wrong. And I'm not talking about conscious gaslighting by the parents because parents love the child and they've been gaslighted by the parents, their parents. So a lot of times that gaslighting doesn't have to be cognitive or conscious. It's more about, oh, I believe in that, even that's a lie. I believe this is wrong, so you don't do it. Or this is the right thing to do so the child buys all those points of view and starts creating their lives based on those points of view. Some of them work, but some of them don't. 
And a lot of times when the parents judge a child, oh, you're such a bad child, you did this, guess what child hears? You're bad. It's not that you did something bad and now there are consequences you're being punished. And even that, a lot of times, translated in a child's mind, I'm bad and I deserve punishment. We don't remember those things. A lot of them might have been when we were six months old or a year. It's, and it's not because parents are evil. They just don't know any better. That's how they've been raised. A lot of time they say things they don't mean. If they knew the impact it has on a child, they would not do that. At least a lot of them don't. Some of them still will do. Yeah, and it's all about kind of like looking at those points of view and asking are we willing to let go of that? And what if we are? Would you be willing to let go of it now? Just by asking, what would it take for that to go away? And I like a question that we have in the chat. What if we use the law of attraction with all the COVID? Exactly. And we actually... We are actually using the law of attraction with the COVID, but against ourselves. All that fear that people have invites more fear. When people are afraid that there are more cases, guess what's created? More cases of COVID. And yet, we can choose something different. What if we started using the law of attraction and our own awareness for us. One of the ways, I love the tools of access and I love the tools of Akashic Records. One of the ways to start shifting and changing it by asking, how does it get any better than that? And what else is possible? So when we do that, we are being in gratitude for what is, and we are also inviting possibilities of something greater. And time flies. It's time for our second break of the show. And you've been listening to Creating Abundance with Is with myself, Dr. Helen Gitlovich, on the Inspired Choices Network. When we return, we'll continue talking about how to deal with gaslighting and COVID and parents and children and all of that. And we'll be back. Many of us live our lives based on karma, on the past and all the unfinished business in our lives. Many of us live our lives based on karma, on the past, and all the unfinished business in our lives. What would you choose if you did not have karma, or if you could choose what you desired instead? By tuning into Creating Abundance with Ease radio show with Dr. Helen Gitlovich, you'll receive tools and inspiration you can use to create the abundance in your life. You are an infinite being with infinite choices. Are you ready to have ease with creating abundance? Listen for Creating Abundance with Ease radio show every Wednesday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 11 a.m. Central, 10 a.m. Mountain, and 9 a.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Magic and abundance are everywhere. What if you could tap into abundance and start creating your life with complete and total ease? Working with Dr. Helen Gitlovich will give you exactly that, total ease in creating abundance in your life. Dr. Gitlovich creates classes all over the world, both in person and online. 
She works with you to create abundance with your money, with your body, with your relationships, with all areas of your life with total ease. Connect with Dr. Helen Gitlevich at creatingabundancewithease.com. Her contribution in your world will be a noticeable gift in a very short period of time. This is Creating Abundance with Ease radio show with Dr. Helen Gitlovich. To participate in the program, call in the U.S. 815-880-8255, Canada 613-800-8736, or Skype us at Inspired Choices Network. You can also make the choice to ask or comment by email by sending to helen.g at att.net. Now, back to the program. Welcome back, everyone. I'm Dr. Helen Gitlovich on Creating Abundance with Ease. And today we are talking about gaslighting. Gaslighting is not personal. And this is about getting people out of their heads because a lot of times, especially with gaslighting, people try to understand it, try to really get why that person can be so mean. And they are loving. Usually on the outside, they look wonderful. And they are wonderful with other people except the person they are gaslighting. Because I observed quite a few people, including my mom, being gaslighted pretty much all her life. And it's people, some people like her husband, but some people saw through him. And yet, my mom would constantly kind of like fight the gaslighting. With all of that, People don't realize that they are stronger than they are, and they are very convenient target. It has nothing to do with why. It's about a choice. So, would you be willing to become more conscious, to become more aware of what's going on in your life, and stop yourself from being gaslighted. Just saying. But again, it's about being in total allowance of that. Being in total allowance of people gaslighting other people and people gaslighting you. Because if you're resisting it, a lot of times you might not even see it. And we were talking before we went on a break about using law of attraction with COVID and asking for change in our lives. We started talking about questions like, what else is possible? How does it get any better than that? One of the amazing tools of access is mantra of access. All of life comes to us with ease and joy and glory. And let's do it. Um, one of the recommendations is to do it 10 times in the morning, 10 times at night. So let's do it now. All of life comes to us with ease, joy, and glory. All of life comes to us with ease and joy and glory. All of life comes to us with ease and joy and glory. All of life comes to us with ease and joy and glory. All of life comes to us with ease and joy and glory. All of life comes to us with ease and joy and glory. All of life comes to us with ease and joy and glory. All of life comes to us with ease and joy and glory. All of life comes to us with ease and joy and glory. All of life comes to us with ease and joy and glory. 
all of life comes to us with ease and joy and glory. All of life comes to us with ease and joy and glory. How are you feeling now? Any change? And what if we gaslight ourselves into more happiness, more joy? But this is not about, like, you cannot gaslight yourself into happiness. You can just choose it. What if you just chose to be happy? Uh, there was, or actually there is still a class in uh, Access Consciousness, happiness is just a choice. Interestingly enough, it was, I think, the sm- one of the smallest or the smallest class in the history of Access. I think it was only 10 people that chose it at the time of the class uh, live and 10 people online, as well as, I think, 80 people afterwards, which is interesting. People don't choose happiness, really? Or is that they believe it's impossible and they gaslighted themselves into unhappiness so deeply that they don't even realize that choice of happiness is possible. Uh, there was a class uh, Dr. Dane here just did, Getting Out of Yuck. And you can still purchase it, I think, in the shop. It was supposed to be hour and a half class, which turned out to be three and a half hours. And he delved into a lot of that. The only thing that we can describe it is yuck. Because even gaslighting, how does it make us feel? Yuck. All the lies, how do they make us feel? Yuck. A lot of it, a lot of things in our lives that we create is yuck that might not be even ours, might not be even um, something that we desire. Well, it never is what we desire. It's something that our unconscious belief system starts creating. What if we can get out of it? What if we can get out of gaslighting? What if we can allow ourselves to be happy, to have joy, to have ease? All of life comes to us with ease, joy, and glory. What if it's not something that is impossible? Because a lot of people look at me and say, like, Really? That's impossible. With everything that's going on in my life or was going on, the the best one is, do you know what my life was? How can I be happy now? Really? Just because you were abused and it was so dark and so bad, it's over. How come you're still allowing that to keep creating your life based on that? For what reason? What if you can look at that and say, huh, interesting choices I made. Chose that for what reason? Cool. What am I going to choose now? What if it is about choosing in 10 seconds? How much easier the choice would be? We have, um, right now I'm doing what's called, we call it conversations on being uh, with Rachel Silber from Guatemala. And we are interviewing different uh, certified facilitators of being you classes in the group being you without hiding. We're doing it on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and we're actually doing one interview today, right after the radio show. You can join live or you can uh, watch it later. You can join the group. It's public. There is no prerequisites to join the group. It's about being you without hiding. And um, on the yesterday interview, we were talking about choices in 10 seconds and choosing for you. Because a lot of times when we are gaslighted, we don't even realize we're not choosing for us. We have no idea what we actually like. Because I look back when I got my divorce, 
I started looking at what do I like? And I had no clue. No fucking idea of what actually I liked. Because during my childhood, I always wanted to please my mom. When I got married, I wanted to please my husband. So I would cook. I would do a lot of things that he liked. I knew perfectly well what other people liked or what they desired. We are always aware of that. And so I would act on it, or I would say react to their desires with providing it and choosing it. And a lot of times I didn't quite like that, but I thought that's what I was choosing. When I got divorced, I suddenly realized, wait a second, I have no clue what I like. And I started exploring. I started exploring with food. I started exploring with people. I started exploring with different things. And it was funny. I think the kind of like that moment of realization, I have no idea what I like, was when my ex-sister-in-law looked at me and said, that um, there was a long story, but the bottom line was she thought, or at least what my husband told her, that my favorite food was hot dogs, all-American favorite food. I looked at her like, uh, no. (laughs) I like them, but that's not my favorite food. And then I started thinking, like, what is my favorite food? Definitely not hot dogs, but probably Italian, probably French, like pizza, like a lot of things. And hot dog was not on the top of the list. So how often do we actually decide or being gaslighted into liking or disliking certain things that we have no clue why? or if it's even ours. So what if we actually stop for a second and started asking questions? What do I like? Body, what do you like to eat? Body, what would you like to wear? What would I like to choose in the next 10 seconds? And... It's our time for the third break of the show. I know time flies so fast. I didn't even realize it was time to break. And you've been listening to Creating Abundance with Ease with myself, Dr. Helen Gitlovich, on the Inspired Choices Network. When we return, we'll continue uh, to discuss what we actually desire. If we were not gaslighted, What would we choose? And we will be right back. Many of us live our lives based on karma, on the past and all the unfinished business in our lives. What would you choose if you did not have karma or if you could choose what you desired instead? By tuning into Creating Abundance with Ease radio show with Dr. Helen Gitlovich, You'll receive tools and inspiration you can use to create the abundance in your life. You are an infinite being with infinite choices. Are you ready to have ease with creating abundance? Listen for Creating Abundance with Ease radio show every Wednesday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 11 a.m. Central, 10 a.m. Mountain, and 9 a.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Magic and abundance are everywhere. What if you could tap into abundance and start creating your life with complete and total ease? Working with Dr. Helen Gitlovich will give you exactly that, total ease in creating abundance in your life. Dr. Gitlovich creates classes all over the world, both in person and online. 
She works with you to create abundance with your money, with your body, with your relationships, with all areas of your life with total ease. Connect with Dr. Helen Gitlevich at creatingabundancewithease.com. Her contribution in your world will be a noticeable gift in a very short period of time. This is Creating Abundance with Ease radio show with Dr. Helen Gitlovich. To participate in the program, call in the U.S. 815-880-8255, Canada 613-800-8736, or Skype us at Inspired Choices Network. You can also make the choice to ask or comment by email by sending to helen.g at att.net. Now, back to the program. Welcome back, everyone. <clears throat> I'm Helen Gitlovich. I'm creating abundance with ease. And today, our show topic is gaslighting is not personal. And you've been listening to me for some of you just now, or some of you have been listening to me for a while now either on uh, Inspired Choices Network Live or on podcasts. And it's about choosing more for you. This is about creating your life the way you desire. What if you could create your life with total ease, joy, and glory? And you can join me in the classes around the world, in person or online or schedule a private session. And together, we can create abundance and ease in all areas of our lives. Because what's interesting, when you choose more for you, everybody else chooses more. And I'm doing quite a few classes uh, around the world. Well, actually, it's online, so it's around the world. Uh, I'm doing three-day body class uh, next weekend, August 28th through 30th. And then on 27th, I'm doing a class, Wealth of Being, uh, which is the intro to Being You Adventures, as well as the one-day class that's coming up in September that I'm co-facilitating with Rachel Silber, September 7 and 8. Also, I'm doing a free Zoom on August 28th at 9.30 in the morning Central Standard Time. That will be translated into Mandarin. Um, do you see your body as a friend or an enemy? You can join me on Zoom um, or it might go Facebook Live as well. You also can see me in a Facebook group today at noon with Rachel Silber interviewing Jenny B, one of the certified facilitators with Being with Ventures in the group Being You Without Hiding. Also, I'm scheduling a class in Akasha Crackers that's coming up in September. September 12, 13 will be basics of Akasha Crackers and the following weekend will be advanced class where you can learn more about your past lives and how to open your Akasha Crackers and to clear your karma, your dharma, all of those things that sticking you in this life. And also you can listen to this radio show next week if you speak Russian. Next week will be in Russian. Are you a liar? And by the way, if you listen to a show in a different language, you still get energetic contribution. Just saying, you might choose just to play the low volume and still listen to that. But if you're speaking Russian, join me. And you can ask questions live. If you, or send me questions beforehand, either in email or contact with me on Facebook, Instagram, or LinkedIn. And you can watch some of my webinars on YouTube. So with everything that's going on with gaslighting, I just 
wanted to talk a little bit more about creating. Because that's the antidote. When you start creating your life, when you start functioning from joy, ease, and glory, you actually change the aspect, you change the dynamics, and nobody can gaslight you anymore, including you. Because we also gaslight ourselves when we don't trust ourselves, when we do things, we know we I, we know, and yet we do things against ourselves. We sabotage ourselves. That's the gaslighting I'm talking about. What if instead of gaslighting ourselves, we start choosing what creates joy in our lives, what we actually like instead of dislike? Let's look at that. All of life comes to us with is joy and glory. What if we choose just one tool a day? Let's say a mantra, saying that 10 times in the morning, 10 times in the evening, and see what it will create. Don't believe me, please. Don't ever believe anybody except you. Always choose you. Always choose what works for you. And as we started talking about law of attraction and creation of your life, what if instead of trying to understand why somebody is being abused or why somebody is suffering, why somebody is in pain, what if we just look at people who have lots of money, who, by the way, not necessarily they're happy, I'm talking about the combination of having money, being happy, or just one of those attributes. And look at what you desire in your life. You might not desire money, but you might desire joy. You might uh, desire relationship. Look for what you actually desire. Look at that, those people and say, I'll have that. But not from the jealousy type. Oh, they cannot have that if I don't have that. No. Just like, oh, I like what they have. What would it take for me to create that in my life? What can I be or do to choose that, to change that, so I can have that ease, that joy, that lightness in my life? And what if it's not that difficult? We've been told that life has to be hard, life has to be suffering. What if it's the biggest lie and the biggest gaslighting there is? Just saying. Would you be willing to let go of that point of view? And what if you could choose more of you? Choose more joy, more ease, more glory. And our show is coming to the end today. But as I said, you can listen to us next week. Same place, same time. And you can ask questions by joining us in the chat room or just sending me your questions ahead of time before the show. We have probably just a minute or actually less left of the show and the last thing I'd like to tell you is choose joy choose gratitude when we are in gratitude it's about choosing more for you when we are grateful everything else shows up and you've been listening to creating to uh Creating Abundance with Ease, with myself, Dr. Helen Gitlovich, on Inspired Choices Network. And see you next week. Bye-bye. Thank you for choosing to listen to Creating Abundance with Ease radio show. Dr. Helen Gitlovich will return next Wednesday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 11 a.m. Central, 10 a.m. Mountain, and 9 a.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. We hope you'll join us. 
Until then, have fun using the tools of the week in your life and start creating magic in your life and your body.